Hey, it's Nathan with American West Realty. I'm standing outside of 2850 Kent Avenue. We have a building here with 12 condos, uh, three levels, and there's another one right across the parking lot here. It's the same. Uh, so I'm gonna take you inside and show you the vacant unit. Just wanted to give you a quick look around. There is one assigned parking space in front of the building uh, for this unit, as well as on each corner, there is a visitor's parking spot and then we have a lot of parking along the south side of the property here as well for additional vehicles. Uh, then uh, on top of that, there is a detached one car garage. I'm not gonna show you that, there's some pictures, but it's on an opener and a code pad. Uh, so that will be accessible to you as well for parking or additional storage. So let's go in and take a look. Hey, we're starting off on the ground floor. I just wanna point out that down at the end of this hallway, uh, is another door. If you walk out that door and across the parking lot, that's where the detached garage is at. And you can't see it, but there is also an elevator there that will take you up to the third floor if you prefer to use that rather than walking. But this is a pretty wide uh, stairwell and it's not that difficult to get up. For some reason, the stairs seem a little shorter than what would and one would anticipate. I'm going to shut this off, go get the lights on, and then I'll take you through the interior of Unit 31. Okay, so here we are on the interior of 2850 Kent Avenue, Unit 31. Again, this is in the eastern building. It's on the third floor, so it is an upstairs unit. They're pretty quiet. I've never lived in one, but every time I'm over here inspecting, uh, it's pretty unusual that I hear the neighbors. So you can see here we've got a fridge, dishwasher, stove, mounted microwave. It's also a garbage disposal and a lot of storage space in those cabinets. Got good lighting. And this opens up to the living room with a ceiling fan. There is, throughout the entire building, you'll see that it does have a sprinkler system or fire suppression system for additional safety that mounted uh, window air conditioner that's the only air conditioning in this unit but it is sufficient to keep the unit cool these are pretty efficient units so uh, utilities do not cost much and the cooling doesn't take much so i should have opened this beforehand but this leads out to the deck, if I can figure out how to operate the opener there. This is raw, unedited footage. You can see we've got a nice sized deck here. Got some great views of the mountains. Parking lot, and right up to Heart Mountain. So this is probably about an eight foot by 10 foot deck. So uh, we don't allow charcoal grills out there, but a gas grill would be okay. And there's room for some patio furniture as well. So down the hallway, we have the first full bath. It's got a combination shower tub, some linen storage, nice vanity bright lighting and as you can see in the reflection there we also have a washer dryer that is included with the unit the heat in this unit is all electric baseboard so there are individual thermostat controls for each room so you can keep it cooler in the bedrooms and reduce your utility use an electric water heater here this other closet is basically a coat closet, linen storage, whatever. And then we have two bedrooms. This is the second bedroom, so just a standard closet. Standard size, nice bright window, although those curtains are darkening it. And then the main bedroom, which has a walk-in closet as well as an attached three-quarter bath. So it has a um, 
shower, but not a bathtub. Again, nice walk-in closet. We've got newer carpet throughout. It's got nice paint, kind of a neutral paint color. The bathroom. And again, you can see just a shower, no bathtub. Okay, guys, so that's it for 2850 Kent Avenue E31. This unit is available now. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 307-587-9608. You can see all of our rentals online at AmericanWestRealty.com with pictures and hopefully video, and as well as start the application process there. Uh, if you want to do an in-person showing, we can arrange for that, but we recommend you try to avoid those just to help the county keep our stats low for the COVID-19. See you next time.